Have y'all ever heard the story of the Rat King? So I was listening to a guy tell that story, and he said, imagine a village that's filled with rats. So what the villagers would do, they would capture 10 rats and throw it in a pit. And they would leave the rats in there until one is left. And they would do this process 10 more times until one rat is left. Then they would release the one rat into the village. And then all of a sudden, there is no more rats in the village. Moral of the story, they starve the rats in the pit until the strongest one remains. See, this is what happens when you take away the food supply. And because they took away the food supply for the rats, after doing this over the course of time, when they release the strongest one that remains, it destroyed all the other rats that was in the village. Because the people trained this rat by taking away what it needed to survive. They took away the food supply. And they put the rats in a controlled environment in order to cause them to turn on each other. So in order for this rat to survive, it had to turn on its own kind. And because the mind was programmed, to do a certain thing, it destroyed its own species. Today, I want to talk about how the devil will try to control the minds of the people. Imagine this world as a pit. And the devil is looking at us like pests. He wants to get rid of us. So he would do anything necessary to try to do that to try to succeed in that action. He will use fame, social media. He will use all the pleasures in the world to distract us, to steal our attention away from the Heavenly Father. So the moment he has your mind trapped with the stuff of this world, he destroys you. And guess what? He will cause you to be in competition with other people. Because if your success doesn't match up to others, you begin to turn on each other. You begin to attack each other. Because the number one thing that the devil is trying to do, he's trying to steal a vital part of your life away see if the enemy can steal the word of god out of your heart mind and soul you will begin to starve and the moment you begin to starve that's when that hatred is born that's when sin is born that's when you become a lover of yourself instead of loving one another instead of loving others as Lord Jesus has loved us. That's when we become conceited, prideful people. The moment the enemy can steal the word of God out of your heart, man shall not live off of bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. See, the reason why I find that story so fascinating about the Rat King is how they put the rats in a controlled environment. You know, they didn't have no say. It wasn't anything they can do. And they starved the rats until they turned on each other, until the strongest one remained. See, sometimes social media and all these other platforms can be that controlled environment. And when we start to see celebrities living life and stuff like that, that's the trap. That's the trap. That's what keeps us preoccupied with stuff that we don't even need. And when we begin to chase after that type of celebrity status, that popularity, all that kind of stuff, it causes us to lose sight of who we really are. That's why it's so many people that's turning on each other in today's time. 
because they want to be the best. They want to be above everyone else. They want to outwork the competition. It's survival of the fittest. But when you come to the Heavenly Father, he will give you rest. That's what the Heavenly Father wants to do for your life. He wants to give you rest. There is no competition when you're in the arms of the Heavenly Father. The sad truth about life is this. When you start losing sight of the Heavenly Father, when you no longer recognize him to be God over your life and Lord over your thoughts, you begin to worship the stuff you have. Because at the end of the day, when you worship the Heavenly Father, that's how you eliminate stress over the stuff you have. Because the devil wants you to stress about the stuff in this world. He wants you to lose sight about the real purpose. And that's to accept Christ to be in our heart, mind, and soul to be our Lord and personal Savior, to receive everlasting life. That's what the enemy wants you to lose sight of. So he wants you to self-destruct. He wants you to be trapped inside this pit. He wants you to turn on each other, destroy each other. And the first people he wants to take out is those who believe. So I want to end this video off like this. The Rat King can sometimes be the celebrity. The stuff you see on TV. The stuff you see on social media. The music you listen to. The people that has the biggest influence on your life. And sometimes the enemy can use that level of influence to take you off the course that the Heavenly Father has you on. That's who the Rat King is. The devil will use that system. The fundamental fact of success to try to destroy your life. So don't be distracted. And I just want to be completely honest. We all have been distracted. It's hard to turn away from Netflix, social media, television. It's hard not to listen to in the world music. And by the way, a lot of this music is demonic. They speak about it in the song, in the lyrics. But why do we gravitate toward that stuff? Because of the Rat King. In other words, the enemy has created an addiction, a craving for a particular thing. He has made this world system a part of our lives in a way where it feels like we can't live without. So it's hard to turn away from this stuff because we're so tuned in that it's hard to turn the switch off. And that's why the scriptures say, we must renew our mind. But what I'm learning is this, it's a daily process. Our minds must be reprogrammed so that we do the will of the Heavenly Father and not the will of the enemy. And, you know, I just used that story of the Rat King to talk about how when you put something in a controlled environment and you take away stuff that's vital for survival, you begin to gain power to manipulate the mind. And that's what the devil wants to do. He wants to manipulate the minds of the people. So you can't recognize who's the real enemy. 
is people that's killing each other because they so trapped in the system. They're trapped in this controlled environment. And it's hard to break free from it. So we need Lord Jesus. That's the only way. Y'all, it's time for us to detoxify our mind from this poison that's polluting our souls. And this won't be an easy task because we must renew our minds on a daily basis. And this world system is that controlled environment that we must break free from through Lord Jesus. So continue to have faith and together we will overcome this system. I pray this bless you in Jesus name. Amen. And oh yeah, I love you.